Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Potter's Resort here in Norfolk for the Just 2021 World Indoor Bowls Championships. Coming up first this morning, we see our first World Open Pairs game. Ellen Faulkner, MBE, and Greg Harlow take on Damien Dubler and Daniel Salmon. Let's have a quick look what we've got for the rest of today. Two o'clock this afternoon, Les Gillett and Jason Greenslade. They take on Perry Martin and Wayne Wilgris. Approximately quarter to four, Simon Skelton and Mike Stepney place Scott Edwards and Andy Walters. And this evening's game at half past seven, Paul Foster MBE and Alex Marshall MBE take on a Scottish pair of James Rippey and Darren Rea. So back to this morning's game, we're going to have a quick look at the officials. Our marker is Alan Thornhill and our umpire is Sandra McLeish. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go down to the portable rink and let's bring on our players. Representing Wales, playing in green, a former World Indoor Bowls Council winner and a Commonwealth Games gold medalist. A young pairing that delighted the crowds here at Potters Resort in 2017, narrowly missing out on this title. Please welcome Damien Dubler and Daniel Salmon. their oppositions this morning representing England playing in red this pairing has eight world titles between them and narrowly awarded MBE and a one half of last year's World Open Pairs champions please welcome Ellen Faulkner MBE and world number six Greg Harlow Well, once again, everybody, good morning and welcome to Hopton on Sea here at Potter's Resort for this first game of the World Indoor Bowls Championships for 2021. I'm delighted this morning to be joined in the commentary box by world number one, Nick Brett. Good morning, Nick. Morning. Morning, everyone. How are we all doing? How have you been uh, coping during this year, Nick? Well, I kind of was going all right until about a month ago. Busy at work, watched more films than, than, I, than I knew existed. Well, the obvious thing to start with, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it's a very, very different looking World Championships this year. Obviously being played behind closed doors due to the COVID restrictions. However, I think we're all agreeing that it's amazing to see bowls back on TV and I think it's very much needed for the sport personally. The other thing you'll notice in the, uh, the pairs event this year, we've gone back to the original format with two bowl pairs. Same sets format. Two sets of nine ends and a three end tie break should they be needed. Be a slightly quicker game, this, the two ball pairs game. It's it's a lot faster. Some say a little bit harder, Nick. Definitely harder. Um unless it'll be less shots played. There'll be more more on Shot, the draw. Jack, um, you're way. generally in trouble, you'll have less bowls around. So yeah. Yeah, I think it's a lot more of a, a drawing game. I think with the extra ball, sometimes it just gives you that kind of extra chance to play something a little bit more wild and then recover with the third. Yeah, definitely you could uh, play shots and have, you've still got two bowls in your hand, if you like. A pretty good start, to be honest. First, first end, it's not too bad from either side. That's right, of course, we must remember most players have probably not played hardly any bowls at all since probably March time. Some clubs have been open, depending on what part of the country the players are from. Portable rink's been down just a, a couple of days now at Potter's. 
obviously there's less less practice time available due to all the restrictions that we're following keeping everybody safe good ball coming here from Daniel it's a great start Greg might be attacking this. Okay. Yeah, famous forehand runner. Yeah, underused, I think. Come on, Greg. A bit more for the both. Yeah, in the area. Got rid of one. Down Daniel's backhand is a left-handed player. Ball will take just a slightly different line That's to the right. other players. You've got two seconds, Greg, but I mean, if you got if you got it on the spot, it's two for sure. Up to you, it's a length. Yeah. Yeah. Why not, Greg? Early doors, isn't it? Yeah, just scratching about for a length. Sometimes it's easy just to attack the head. Playing slightly slower this year. Hey. Just to bend a bit now. Good try. Come on down, mate. One shot, double and salmon. So the Welsh pair take the opening shot. You probably notice here the other difference. Keeping the players safe, each lead has their own Matt and Jack. All Matts and Jacks are sanitised before and after every single game. We've got a good stock of them here. Jack Finn, 26 All Jacks are the same. If you are new to the game, there's no advantage from swapping Jacks. The Jack doesn't have a bias. Slight click of the fingers there. Normally tells us it's heavy, but it doesn't look too bad at all. No. Nope. I'd take that. Yeah, he's uh, f first bowl of the first two ends for Dame's been um, pretty good. Yeah, it certainly has, and I think it's key in two bowl pairs. If you can just get your front two bowls very, very close, it's always going to put the skip in pressure. Good thing about this format as well, if you're struggling, you can you can swap over in between sets. It's a great response from Ellen. Yeah, very good standard so far. I know it's early doors, but uh, no side are giving much, giving much away. Ellen Faulkner obviously just uh, been awarded an MBE for services to the sport. It's a great achievement for Ellen, and uh, I think it's thoroughly deserved as well. Definitely, she's won most things in the game on the green and uh, certainly done her share off of it. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes it's just not all about what you do on the green. It's it's all the other work she does behind the scenes for coaching and promoting the sport. Overplayed this, but it's not going to finish too bad, I don't think, Nick. It's in a receiving position. Yeah. Okay. I think it was uh, Greg Calder to put one past. I think that'll do. It's got the spot at some point. Ideally, it would have been a yard shorter, would have been a touch better, but it'll win the spot if uh, Dan gets the uh, little touch and slits it round the back of the two green. Greg will probably plan a runner anyway. to arrive at this bolt just holding away very difficult shot to play normally be interesting to see with the green being slightly slower this year Nick whether it will allow the players to have a, a more you know selection of shots available to them um, yeah on, on a normal you don't normally get the uh, just over the pace shot still the hardest one to play I know we say every year but uh, it still is the hardest one Well, there's no change from when you left, 
be honest, is, you know, could you get a little better off the inside of mine? Okay. Similar weight or drop a touch? Yeah, I don't mind your weight on the inside, right? Oh. Uh, Damien then just asking Daniel just to arrive at this head again, just bring the, the line in, it looks tight. Yeah, it punishes if you're tight. Yeah, it's yeah, not too risky to... Yeah, I mean, there isn't a natural line back to it there. No. He's just looking to get Jack eye and sit in, but... Not an easy shot. The, the obviously the the open hand, the forehand is where all the danger is. He doesn't want to just make contact with the the shot bolt. He can just sneak round like you're saying, fall back. One shot, Faulkner and Harlow. Oh, two ends played, one apiece. And don't forget, if you uh, can't stay with us all day, you can catch up on the normal one channels, WorldBowlsTour.tv and uh, on our Facebook and YouTube channels with you for every single ball sent. You're with us for a week, Nick, are you? I am, yes. Marvelous. Yes. Sorry about that, but I'm here, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's your punishment for breaking your arm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So gone very, very short oh, yeah. with this jack. I think it's going back. Had it stayed there, that would have been a tester, early doors. <laughs> it would have been, yeah. <laughs> I think Greg's secretly pleased. <laughs> so you'll see here now, obviously, the... The jacks are swapped. Damien has his own jack. Mats are okay, obviously, because he's, he's leaving it in the same position, so it's not touched. Cleanse 25 metres. Are you coping with all the COVID restrictions, Nikki? Here, yeah, it's, it's same as everywhere, and it <laughs> sometimes I'm just about walking out the door. Oh, I haven't got my mask, yeah, <laughs> you know, one way. One way in, one way out. I'm like, oh, no, I can't go that way. So, um, yeah, uh, same as always. You do get the hang of them in the end, but uh, it, it's to keep everyone safe, isn't it? So it, it, it's needs must. Yeah, that's right. It's certainly strange being on a resort. That, you know, you, there's normally at least a 1,000 people enjoying themselves at Potters. This year there's just the players and officials and tech crew. It seems quite eerie at times. Yeah, I've never walked walked down so many corridors with no one in them. <laughs> yes, exactly. Seems to make the trip now. Of course, all the players are in their own protective bubbles. It's fair to say there's been a lot of work gone into this, Nick. It's... Uh, you know, a tremendous amount of work and it can only be applauded really what they've what they've done to make this event happen very very impressed with uh, the safety procedures in place oh without a doubt from all sides um the people organizing it on the tour fantastic Too green. potters have made everything available yeah even even dining is like i've never been so far away from anybody <laughs> yes, that's right <laughs> it's normally just your cologne yeah <laughs> I showered last week. <laughs> oh, another really, really good start here from uh, the Welsh pair. Damien's putting Greg, Greg under all kinds of pressure. Yeah, good standard up front. I mean, three for three at the minute. Run quicker. Nice and solid. Yeah, well, well played. Well played. Well played. So you can just see there, Alan Thornhill has just sanitised his hands. He'll remove the jack and place it into the position and then re sanitise. Have the cleanest hands in the world. 
Yep. It won't be the softest though. <laughs> as long as you can now. Yeah, it's a game of two bowl singles now, but unfortunately Greg's only got one. <laughs> That's right. They really are playing well, the Welsh pair. I think the competition's wide open, to be honest, this year, Nick. It depends on who can get as many bowls played as possible, I think. Yeah, well, even people that have played some bowls, I doubt they've played any competitions in anger. So they've just been rolling uh, for practice. They may have had a game against somebody, but with nothing on it. No. So it's can you... Um, Oh, well played, Greg. Yeah, wouldn't tell me if you just beat your own, your shot. I think competitive bowls is completely different to just going having a roll up. I think it's more concentration. I think when you've nothing to play or nothing to beat, it's very very hard to concentrate and actually achieve what you've gone out to to achieve. I think. Yeah, it's Come whoever on, can get get on a roll. If you can. Um, one shot, Faulkner and Harlow. Oh, another single. Yeah, certainly a tight, tight, tight scoring game and a good standard, to be fair. We said there'd be more drawing. Yeah, it's been a very good standard. We said there'd be more drawing before we started and Greg's played three runners already. Greg's just sent Ellen's jack down. That's allowed, obviously, because they're in their own protective bubble playing together. Remember when the only bubbles we had were in a champagne glass? Yeah, low ends are different ones now this year. Jack length, 26 metres. to play slightly further, 26 metres. Yeah, tried to hold one in up the, the back end. There is a flatter line, but if you just don't quite get it. Yeah, it's strange that backhand, isn't it? There's, there's definitely two ways in. Definitely, yeah. Of course, to the right of the screen is where you would normally see the big grandstand. to run now slightly looser in this end plenty yeah, of room talked him into that one didn't I and clicked his fingers last time bold front knocker so yep. not far away with this That might be a sign that he likes it then, <laughs> rather than he's heavy. Yeah, just a little trail on the jack for two. Two green. Greg's confident with this one. He's left his chalk on. That's right, just under the bowl. Let's soon see. Decent track on the. If he's got the right way, is he? Needs to run. Well, it's held back, but it should be just enough for the shot bowl. Played some, played some good stuff early. Yep. Daniel playing down his backhand. Just to arrive at this jack. Just to bend. Good effort, mate. Good effort. Be good effort. Say Greg needs to 
don't know. He's almost tempted to get to the black two green. Dan's got a shot to nothing if, no, if not much changes. Yeah, I think he can just put maybe a foot or 18 inches on his last ball. Cover the back two and even count for another shot. Oh, I'll wait. It's very well played. Yeah, he's uh, started pretty good. There's a chance here for, for Dan. He could force that green ball through the head. Just hangs wide, he'll get the jack. Pace like. He's still just up unless he can get off the back red. Just too thin. One shot, full turn. Again, a very good effort. The English pair that take a further lead here in the first set. Yep, decent standard of game so far. If this is going to be that all the way through, <laughs> the um, nine month gap's not hurt too many people. <laughs> That's right. Sometimes a break uh, does you good, I think, Nick, as well. When you're playing all the time, uh, you come back. I think you come back a bit fresher. Kind of, you get the want to win, I suppose. Well, yeah. Well, because well, you're at the top of your concentration, aren't you? Because you, you, you've not been playing, so you don't know what you're gonna. Yeah. I think it does force you to really, really concentrate on everything. More the delivery as well. It's getting that consistent delivery back as quick as you can. Yeah, I find if I hit my ankle just below, <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's that's perfect. Start here, Bells. Well played. Play, Bells. Oh, well played, Ellen. Yeah, decent starter. How was your new fame since your internet sensation? Yeah, quieting down a bit, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I've done a couple of interviews this week about it and about the about the ch about the championship so yeah so that's right if our records are correct it's uh, over 10 million views now nick yeah 9 million on my mum i think <laughs> <laughs> yeah good old mum well then again I think it was great for the sport, actually, Nick. It was uh, some of the uh, the edits on it, you know, in the, in the bars and things. I think it was just fantastic just to see, you know, everyone was saying that uh, that magical one word. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, to be fair, I, whether it's the best bowl ever, that's the, I, I don't think it is. But with all the surrounding commentary with it and Greg telling everybody what, what he wanted yeah. me to do and... Like I say, hitting my ankle in the right place and it, <laughs> and it finishing through the gap. Too right. Certainly, um, it can't harm our sport with publicity like that. And if there's two or three more played this year, hopefully the same thing will happen. Well, exactly. I think it's kind of like the, the, it was exactly at the right time with the right atmosphere in the right place, and it, it just went viral. And it's uh, it was fantastic. You know, it's it's very very rare. You know, bowls get seen in in such a, an amazing light, really. So it was uh, it was good to see. Thank you for that. In terms of standard of bowls played, the bowl probably the best bowl of the game was Alex's game down. I think yep. later on in the game, went yes. through the forehand. Yep. That's right. In a tremendous bowl. He's just making the trip. Just wants to get back to the jack and fall back. Nice backhand draw, looking to just to get round the head, sit the green ball. We'll make a second shot and it won't make the head any bigger. Yeah, just be looking to sneak round the back, won't he? Make a pair. Yeah, it's two down. It's, it's very similar. 
concentrate on making the draw and I think if you get the jack it'd be a bit of a bonus sometimes if you go chasing you can just push through yeah like I said on this surface before if you're just up very rarely do you get yeah unless you get the wide green two shots Faulkner and Harlow but Ellen and Greg extend their lead five shots to one now four ends remaining Certainly not phase Greg having a new partner anyway. Probably got a better one. Yes, I think s some may say he was pleased. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he did seem rather happy, yeah. Jack length, 26 metres. Sticking with the 26 metre length, Jack. Starting to play herself in this game now. Such a vast, experienced player. Played on all kinds of surfaces. Both hemispheres and out very well looking at her achievements. Okay. Ladies World Match Play Champion 2006-2016. World Mixed Pairs 2019. Yeah, good CV all around the world, Ellen. Yep. Four Atlantic Rim gold medals, 2005 through to 2015. Bye, Bill. I suppose the good thing about um, swapping partners, I suppose, um, Greg, know, Greg and Ellen know each other quite well from playing together for years, so it won't be too much of a drama for either. That's right, they know each other's game, strengths and weaknesses. That's always a slight advantage. Oh, looks like it's very close for shot. One green. Yeah. Just confirmed by Alan Thornhill. One shot to green. Right on cue. See Sandra McLeish back in the fold as well. Vast experience of umpiring. Yeah, I think the general standard of officials is pretty excellent. good. Yeah, very excellent. Rip. Good chance here for the Welsh pair to get themselves back in this game at this end. Yard shot. for Greg small adjustment in pace is it reaching it doesn't look quite up but unless he could no. tap off the bolt well that's definitely helped that a little wiggle of the hips on the way in yeah, don't think it'd been far away with a miss to be fair but it certainly made it slightly better there's a chance here must reach If he's not too quick, he's not bad. Hit the brakes right now. Very unlucky. Yeah. On the jack would have been very good. One shot, Faulkner and Hartlow. Set score, 6-1 after six ends.
quite an interesting score, really, Nick, because they came out the the stables very, very quick. The Welsh pair. I think it's just a few key bowls from Greg that have changed the score line. Yeah, Greg had a conversion shot, second and third end, I think, which just you know got him to score. Then played the draw. Um, Dan's been forced into a tricky draw and not uh, played a couple of timers, well, just over the pace, which if you don't get very often, Jack Lenz, yep. six and a half meters. you just lose an end. All of a sudden, you're, what, five or six one behind and wondering how, because it's not been that much in it. Yeah, I think sometimes you can get sucked into playing that just over shot where really it's uh, sometimes better just to attack it, maybe not get the maximum result, but just to get the result. Correct. Played out, great start. Great and at five or six one, you see, Els can relax into it first bowl and has done. Yeah, she has. And Greg's latched onto the, you know, following a couple of runners, latched onto the draw pace pretty good. Played the hit and recover well. The forehand. Decent finish, to be honest. Yeah, sometimes they say change your hand, change your pace. A, a good swing on this hand. Definitely. Yeah, it gets all the way back with whatever you've got, to be honest. Very unlucky. Excellent bowl. It is a fantastic bowl, but to a degree made it a touch worse. Yes, One it's... Uh, yeah, it's kind of blocked it in a little bit there now. But it's still it's a live bowl. You can see it's just been marked by the, the spray chalk. And for those new viewers out there, becomes a live bowl so once the bowl's sent if it touches the jack after it's left the player's hand on its original course that becomes a live bowl and that's identified by a, a spray chalk sometimes people use just an ordinary stick of chalk in a, a normal game but at such a high level obviously we don't want people touching the bowls so we elect to use a, a chalk spray so if that bowl is now hit into the ditch at the back of the rink and stays within the two confines which are the yellow strips that bowl will still be in play. If it goes outside and hits the side barriers, that's what we call outside the confines of the rink, and that will be removed from play. It's always great to use this platform as well, Nick, to, to get the new viewers. Oh, outstanding. If this, <laughs> if, it, if this is not interested in watching this format, So many different formats used to this sport. The yeah. Northern and Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, all good, yeah. And I think, you know, you can hear the players discussing what they're playing, so almost self-explanatory. Yeah, I think it's quite good to hear what the players are saying. It's good for, you know, to see, see what tactics are and the motivation people have. Perhaps don't need to meet me after I've missed. <laughs> I think it's just Greg's just trying to block here, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. Looking to play one in the way. Try and force Daniel into playing that harder shot. This is where the tactics come into the game. It's not always just about drawing to the jack. There's many, many different tactics used. Either that or is it his leg. So he's making them think about this. I don't know whether it's worth... I know we haven't got anything here, but I, it's worth giving yourself a chance for your first. Because that sort of blocked your line. Sometimes there. you just have to play the shot, you yeah. know, because you could get the red ball thin here. And yes. Just be in the area and just That's ride your that. luck. It's not far away, Nick. Just the ball. Oh, clean it well, then, mate. It's exactly Good. what you said. Yeah, you know, sometimes yeah, it's just a case of hitting it? the target, and if it goes your way. Shot balls, just, just three lengths. 
Very good result. Again, this shows you the difference between the two bowl and three bowl pairs. I think it would have been three bowl pairs if he just played that without without a care. Yeah, for sure. Four hand draw for Greg. Come on, Greg Os. Come on, all the way now. Run. Team Run, team. Greg Os. Come on, right up. Greg Os. Yeah, all sorts of names, Greg Os. Just add Come a letter, don't that. you? Run. <laughs> Like the one, mate, it's just, just beating that, really. It's, it's that far down, two feet. Change his profile, Gregos Holos. <laughs> yeah. Kay's yeah. normally in charge of nicknames. Don't know whether Ellen's got that one sanctioned yet. Well done, mate, good. Oh, well played. Two shots, doubler and salmon. And that's a much needed pair at this stage of this set. Yeah, it wasn't looking lightly, was it? And uh, very good two in the end. I mean, didn't have a lot. Set score, six three after seven ends. Yeah, just three behind now. Two ends to play. Yeah, yeah. Ellen and Greg just need to score a two. We'll finish this set. Length 29 meters. Or straight away, lengthening this jack, 29 meters. Yeah, they're just looking to change something, really, aren't they? Yes, that's right. Almost a full length. Full length on this rink is 29 and a half. Shorter than most rinks, obviously it's sat within the international arena here at Potter's Resort. It's laid in exactly the same place as well, even though we've not got the stands in position. The green is absolutely bang where it normally is. Yeah, lights are in this position, aren't they, So, for this particular surface, so... Make the trip now. It's lacking still. Again, Chance now for Ellen just to close down this first set. Yeah, they're certainly in a good position. You know, scoreboard and on this end at the moment. Okay. Slightly heavier, tighter line. One red. Dan will be looking to get the to get the first one in. That's right. You just take all the pressure off. There's still plenty of room, Nick. Uh, there is, but you know you'll need to score, otherwise it's very difficult getting a four last end. Again, just not making the trip. All kinds of trouble now. Down a good line. Yeah, decent, decent, but there's there's still room. Yeah, there's still a foot to eighteen inches. Needs to get at least second with this bowl. Yeah, it doesn't look quite up. A little wiggle. No, again, just short, so that'll be the, the two shots needed to take this first set. 
Eight shots to three for the English pair. Two shots, first set, Faulkner and Harlow. Yep, decent performance. Yeah. yeah, I think overall it's uh, it, it's been been some good play from both pairs. I think I think the key to this set was just the conversions early on in the game. You know, Greg was able to make the conversions and get out a little bit of trouble the first couple of ends, and the chances were there for the Welsh pair. But you know, it's just not easy. They weren't left anything particularly easy. It was a couple of Greg's tricky runners. Better. Greg, yes. Greg's um, well, when he was down. His head sat better, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah but Danny, it was just over and didn't really look great for much. But sometimes you probably just have to play it anyway and hope it goes your way sometimes. Yeah, so uh, in this position, Nick, you've got to just knuckle down, I guess, try and play yourself back in this first set, get in nice and early. Yeah, <laughs> sets are sets, aren't they? You know, it's the first one's over. Now you, you get to start again, and not every time. They normally rolls reverse, don't they? Yeah, that's right. 26 metres. I think that's the beauty of the sets play, Nick. You can get, you know, walloped, I guess, in the first set, and then you can just, like you say, reset. And it gives you that chance again. There's nothing worse in a traditional game of bowls of being 15 again, behind man. with another 10 ends to play. It's a bit, a bit demoralising, I guess. Yeah, I think that's why sets play, certainly for TV, is great. You know, if you get a, ru a runaway lead for seven or eight ends, invariably hard to come back. Yes. But sets play is like a reset halfway through, isn't it? So That's right. And of course, if they wanted to, they, they could have swapped over. They've elected to, to stay as they are. If they're like me and Greg, we always forget about that. We've, <laughs> we've known the rule for years, but never remember halfway through. Like that, as soon as you let go. OK. One green. It's, uh, it's great to see viewers from all around the world tuning in. I hope you've all been staying nice and safe during this pandemic. I'm sure you're as pleased as we are to see bowls back on your screens. Yeah, I would. I think we've still got it. I think for sure the players are great. Very pleased to be back playing, even though they wouldn't have had much practice. But uh, it's shown that uh, they've not lost too much. And if the opening game's anything to go by. Yeah, exactly. I think that's why we said before that it's. I think it's. It's important that we got the sport back on TV and made it happen. Yeah, still that match for shot. Okay. A better start. Nice backhand draw from Greg. Well, Elle certainly likes it. Come on, all the way down now. Bend. Bend. Hurry. Well played, Greg. Swap. Well he's done. done it again. Yeah, he's definitely found a good pace, hasn't he, Greg? No doubt about that. Now, I think it's time to take a chance and just attack this. For sure, he's got a good position to be very unlucky to get his own. It is possible, but... 
to yours, but like White is good and the, and the ball is, is just as good. White he needs to play this slightly quicker than what he has been playing, just keep it slightly easier for himself. Yep. Needs to move. Move, move. move. Well, it's one way. Right. Yeah. All those options were there. One touch, shot, touch, touch, touch fortunate, I suppose, in the end, but uh, you're still in the in the ballpark. Yeah, that's right. It's just important just to play that Took quicker. Me, uh, Keep it simple. Throw the jack down. Let's get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> He's forgot the rule already. Left his own jack down there. <laughs> And he won't be the last. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't. Just All new for everybody, all the, the new rules and protocols, just to keep everybody safe. Just take a, a game or two just to get used to them. Jack length, 25 metres. Of course, there's no shot clock in, in the pairs. You can see the shot clock behind that will be activated for the singles events. Interesting, they've obviously the last end of the, or sorry, the eighth end of the first set, they went T to T. Decided to go shorter with this one, so they've not settled on what length they want. No, that's right. They seem to be just scratching around a little bit just to, to find something they're happy with. Like you say, they went long and played a few short bowls. To be fair to Ellen and Greg, they've not necessarily, as a pair, not missed on one, on an end. No, exactly. Between them, between the pair of them, they've managed just to, to find the odd one or two between them. That's what pairs is all about. Slip by. Oh, played a good one here. Good one. Still there. Put on your last. Just slightly overplayed this as Ellen, but. Might come in really useful because yeah. I've got a feeling he's lining up the backhand just over the pace, leaning in to have a look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just had a look. Damien's second ball actually came back from quite a from quite a good angle there, even though the green is slightly heavier. You know, the the angle of attack was very I thought it was wide when he first let go of it, but it came back with the length. Yeah. A again there is a there is a wider track. Generally a bit quicker. Is he up enough to miss the front? Is there run another foot? Just enough. Okay. Some years when it's playing really, really quickly, some of the some of the balls down that hand bend like a banana, you know, they come back come back quite quickly. Just slightly more stickier. Yeah, like you said, Nick. Slight edge. No, One away. Well, yeah, Greg's created a position for a little drag around the corner, but again, hard shot to get. Yes, I think uh, Daniel will be looking at just playing just slightly past this jack to the left-hand side of your screen. We'll cover the, the trail and make another. I think Greg will still play a similar short pace, you know, if it goes one down on the on the tee or the spot. Yeah, you can drag the jack, land on either of those balls. If you slightly wide, there's always a, a cheeky wide ball there to use. Hit the target and it could jam and bounce around, so... Pick your pace and play it. Come on, Greg, off. Yeah, we Clean jack. Well played. Oh, yeah. 
One shot, doubler and salmon. Cut it down to a single. Yeah, he got too much of it, really. He wanted to jam it in. He's, he's in too good a touch. He wanted to get a bit, bit less of it. Yeah, hit it full in the face. Set score, zero two after two ends. The jack runs an awful way on this surface, doesn't it? It's very quick. It seems to scoot across the top. Yeah, it does. You only got to get anything on it, and it does scoot across quickly. Now, where's he going to put this jack? Try slightly longer again. Don't know. No, they stand in short. short. Yeah. Jack length twenty four meters. Twenty four meters, so one meter over the minimum length. This will be a tester. Well. Click of the finger. He's not too bad with the click of the fingers. Yeah, he does well with that. And it just shows how people like to, to play their own hand here, Nick. Most bowlers would think that was in the way. Uh, yeah, and uh, it, probably, it probably is just, but... You take one if you just get to it. You take getting on the back of it because you'd be close. So if you if you do prefer to lead off one side, there's no reason why one unless it is a yard short, really yeah. in the way. But uh, that's close enough. If you got near it, it's going to give um, Greg some head position at some point. Slightly wider line with your second. And now Els. Elsa's bowls where it is now is perfect. She can just get a little touch. Slightly bring it in. And finish well. Yeah, even though it's not holding, they're in, they're in a good spot. Sure, Greg will be tempted to play over the pace the other way, though, I think. But yeah, uh, down I the forehand, yeah. Yeah. Depending on what Dan does, obviously, what, what, yeah, what, he, what he forces him into. I think Dan's going to play something similar to Ellen, I think. Looking to tuck away just behind the wing bowl. I wouldn't be too disappointed with this one because you've got the got the spot now Co yes. covering Ellen's bowls obviously the target but it's still not easy just to play that neat little tuck in there that's right and he'll know that and he could well just be trying to draw the shot as well yeah like you say Nick there's a couple of options here we can sit either of the green bowls touch on this jack will be perfect he's got it I told you it was difficult that shot. It's <laughs> a great ball. Perfect, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely perfect. There's, there's only two options here. He's either got to just attack this or play something similar to Greg. Inside edge of that green bowl is, you know, is the perfect angle. Three red. Yeah, so I think uh, just slightly over the pace might be the favourite. Trouble is, if he hits this, Greg's got a bowl to recover it. Yeah, he'll take one down though, wouldn't he? Oh, yes. Just arriving down his backhand. This will bend a massive, this will. Punishes you, doesn't it? Just under that line. Yeah. Safe draw on the backhand. Appointment in Daniel's face. Yeah, and he's only he's only a bowl away from being being good, but if you Well, sit back. Brilliant, 
Three shots, Faulkner and Harlow. First three of the game. Yeah, a good, like I said, good end all round. Um, Greg played a monster to tuck it to L's bowls that probably weren't holding it, but uh, made them look made them look <laughs> really That's nice. Four, three two after three ends. Yeah, it was a fantastic bowl, and it, it left it pretty safe as well, Nick. It wasn't a massive target, forced Daniel into playing the very difficult shot. Yeah, like I said, he tried to play the difficult shot two or three times, and sometimes it's just better to go a bit quicker, yeah. to be honest. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. But it's still only 2-3, three or 3-2, three, whichever you want to... Yeah, just one in it. Plenty of ends remaining. Don't forget we have another good pairs game for you this afternoon at 2pm. Well Eng English and Welsh combination of Les Gillett and Jason Greenslade against Perry Martin and Wayne Wilgris. Another cracking game on the cards for you. Yeah, I think all the players like pairs. Obviously, massive pressure in the singles. I think, you know, when you can half the pressure plan in the pairs, it's, uh, albeit it's a tough game, two bowl pairs, but uh, I think they all enjoy it. Well, I do, because I've normally got someone to carry me, so that always helps. <laughs> Which I'll be only light. Getting heavier, though. Well played, Ellen. Just make the trip. It's going to fall. Bit of a wobble. Yeah. Ellen and Greg keeping the pressure on. Yeah. Not, they're, not, they're not giving it, uh, giving them an easy chance to get back in, are they? No, that's right. it's always hard being the first game up well yeah I think so <laughs> even more it, this tournament with how many months nine or so months that we haven't played <laughs> they'll all be thinking how am I going to play I've, yeah. I've rolled up alright practiced alright but you still don't know until you actually get out there do you I think it must be very strange as well because obviously there's the, with the atmosphere or lack of you know the, the there's no crowd and it's is how you motivate yourself, I guess, when you're coming on to motivate to to play well. Yeah, I just got, with that sort of thing with the no crowd piece, you just got to realise you're playing in, still in the World Championships. Yes. That's the plus side to that is, I guess, the lack of distraction and that allow you to concentrate more. I suppose it's pros and cons. Yeah. Depends on the player as well. Some players naturally love love the crowd, don't they? They, they kind of they love that kind of like the atmosphere that they draw from that. But and other players, I don't think it affects them as much. They just get on with it. Yeah, some some don't like playing in front of. They they do because they happen to be good at the game and can handle the pressure. But uh, some do like playing to a crowd. Yes. Some of the old favourites, like you know John Price, Ian Shoeback, they all used to like playing to the crowd as well as for the crowd. Uh, well, yeah, and there is that as well. But uh, hopefully, in the uh, very near future. Oh, he's been unlucky. Very unlucky. He's just found the hole. One shot, Faulkner and Harlow. Just a little slight touch either way. I think it uh, just managed to hold on to that jack for the shot. Set score 4-2 after four ends. Yeah, again close, but just just losing another end to keep the board going the wrong way. Yeah, nice selection of the Langham Glass trophies there on the left-hand side of your screen. That's being played for during the, the next couple of weeks. 
Jack Fence, 25 metres. First of the finals will be on Monday the 18th, live on the BBC. They miss this line again. Right, chance here now. That's where you need to start putting the pressure on Nick. Yeah, he certainly um, there's an opening here. Get your first bowl in, and you can control the end f to a degree. Can't stop your opponent playing a good bowl, but if you get one in close, you can maybe force them into an error. Bad start. Looking at just slotting another one in here now. Just trying to close the, the gap up between the, the shot and the jack. Well it's counting. Yeah, way Greg way Greg's been playing, I'm not I'm not gonna say they're close enough. They score, but uh, I think he will beat them unless unless he shocks me. <laughs> We're looking at eighteen inches to two feet. So down the forehand. Taking effect now, but I just don't think it's going to get back in time. Yeah, just up with that one. It wasn't line was good enough. Then they can make the move. The slow down. Slightly narrower line from Greg the pace like it certainly looks less but uh, sticking still not much at all that okay. ball oh, I, like you I thought he was on a tighter track which he probably was and didn't get as much bend big chance here now for Welsh boys good yard of room here to make three and it run Urging this forward. Well, back, back, on back on level terms. Yeah, four apiece, four ends remaining. And of course, going back to 2017, these Welsh lads just narrowly missed out on this title, Nick. Yeah, played fantastic in doing so. So they'll have good, good memories to draw back on and know they can, you know, I think they want, if I remember rightly, run a couple of times tight games that year yes. so so we'll be looking to uh, sneak this second set if they can and then you're into a tie break that's right the uh, just narrowly lost out they tied the first set and uh, against uh, Gillett and Skelton I think it was that fence, 27 meters only just lost the second set by just a few points the more than capable of course Daniel Salmon won the the gold in the Commonwealth Games 2018 with his partner at the time, Mark Wyatt, who's now retired from international bowls. Another great player, Sparky. Yeah, yeah. Played against Sparky right from the junior age. So uh, he'll certainly be uh, pleased with his gold medal. Yeah, well deserved. And a great opener there. To the skies. Oh. Tired. He must have been on that Xbox all night. His finger ache. Of course, a lot of the players are...
brought computers to keep themselves busy whilst they're isolating themselves in the room before play and keeping themselves busy. You're doing a lot of work and interviews. Yeah, I'm trying to keep myself busy and social distance socialising with yes. me hot chocolate. You've put on weight. Yep. Now, just wants to run again. It's a good track. Oh, well played. Get inside the red. That's a great ball. Yeah, three great bowls, to be honest. Greg might call Ellen to play the runner here. I'm not sure. Hard to beat on a draw, Bells. Have a game. Come, yeah, come right for it. Pitch it. Yep, Ellen will attack this. Skip for many years. She's stalking it. Does it get back? No, not quite. You see there Greg lifting his own player's bowl out of the ditch. That's something else that we've introduced under the COVID precautions. Normally the official would remove the bowl. However, as the players, have we said, are in their own bubbles, that is allowed. Would you go deep here if you were Dan? Or... Yes, I think so, with the score line. Line two, all square, four ends remaining. You have to play an exceptional ball to make a third, and then if Greg does happen to hit the head and run with the jack, he'll be in uh, you know, all kinds of trouble with, with his last. Side edge of the mat. Tighter than Ellen's. Needs to spend a bit still. Good hit, Ooh. very unlucky contact. Could have gone a lot worse, so I think he'll take that. Yep. And uh, he'll almost certainly be two down by the time uh, he plays his next bowl. But uh, Dan have Dan's have to play under, on yes. the backhand, I think. He's going to have to play across the rink. Because that's the spot there. So, do you think best off there? Well, I, I don't think you know the jacks just that. stayed within about a foot of the confines of the rink. Close, close you can, down there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Playing a tighter line. What's the pace like? Needs to run. Ooh, yeah. he's dropped that. Yeah, he made the count, but uh, Greg will beat this. Oh, he's going up the forehand as well. He's played the. I think there is enough room because you don't. See on the inside of the match, trying to hold this bowl up for as long as he can. He's got plenty of room here, Nick. Yeah. Has he run enough to get? No. Nope. Well, that was an interesting Why couple not? of bowls. Yeah, chose the harder side to do it, but uh, just didn't quite get out there to hold it up. Set score, 4-5 after six ends. So, the Welsh pairing just... Shove the nose is just in front here. Dark length twenty four and a half meters. Getting to the business end of the game now, Jason. That's right, yeah, just the three ends remaining. It's uh, We normally would say the crowd love a tie-break. <laughs> 
Well, they still do, but they're <laughs> just watching with us. Yeah, the virtual crowd. I'm sure there's plenty of people watching. There's not much else we can do at the moment. He's uh, all following their favourites. And have you made this adjustment? Looks like she has. Urging it forward. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his own cheering. <laughs> Rent a crowd. I think it's right in saying the, the players are allowed in the auditorium at the far stands with masks. Yeah, everybody's been well, so tested, so... with all the protocols, masks, sanitizer all over the place. So there's a seating area that's permanently fixed at the back there. Come on. Bit of a loose end this end. There's plenty of room for both teams. Red just have the advantage at the moment. Greg tucks one. Matter, tucks another one in. Both hands are available. Safest. Flat line. I'd be, would you be tempted to play the bowl? Yeah, play the bowl. You can nearly get it with that last plant. Yeah, like with me. I know it gives Greg still room to draw the shot, but uh, didn't fancy it. I was looking to stick to the draw. But played. It's not coming back, is it? It's trying its best, but... Uh, Just sticking. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you might have attacked that, Nick. There's a couple of chances on that uh, front pack. Yeah, because he could have he could have got a double contact and left one close, and uh, to uh, give Greg a free a free one. And Miss Ellens and he's in for two. Played, and, and he duly took shots. the chance. Foster and Harlow. But as we move into end eight of Set nine, score, six five after six seven five eight. it is. Ellen and Greg can afford to tie this second set. Doesn't make any difference. They'll still go through to the next round. Damien and Daniel need to uh, secure the set, force it into a three-end tie break. No timeouts used. Length, Each team meters. gets five timeouts. That's because we have no shot clock. Meters again. Yeah, preferred length. For yes, for Ellen and Greg, for sure. Five of the five of the ends that we've played have all been twenty six and they've, they've scored on them. Slipping by again. Another chance for Damien. Didn't hear a flick of the fingers for this one. But 
Still going to the Jap. That's yeah. Very well played. Slight touch of the Jap. That's his job done. Two green. Greg might be just tempted here, or...? I think he'll draw with the first one. Uh, th there is always an option, depending on what Dan does with his first, I think. But uh, I think he'll draw with the first one. As a rule, he likes this backhand, so... Back very well. You just fall over. Similar bowl for Daniel. Draw to the Jack, draw to the red bowl and sit it back. Yeah, what one or two does, I suppose, does make a difference at, at this time. But uh, they they need to score both ends, really. Yes, definitely. Not too far away here. Just to run for the Jack now. A nice little touch. Oh, well played. It's a very good bowl. Might even have made three with a little touch. And that does make a difference, obviously. Yes. I think it will be three. Three green. Confirmed by Alan Thornhill. You see, this sets up for just over the pace at the back end, uh, looking at it. But, again, as we said before... <laughs> Tends to stick by, doesn't it, with a bit of weight down yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Or you bring her in a bowl and dives quickly. So... If he's going to play pace, I think it will be a quick quick pace and aim at the middle bowl and you get either of the outside ones or the jack movement. It should cut the, the three down. Yes, I think even if they just lose a pair this end, it's still the same. They just have to score shot. Correct. Next end, so the, the two's irrelevant. It's the three that's the different. So like you say, just attack it. Just remove one of those three bowls. And he's in the area. That's two of them. Oh, well played, Greg. What a great ball. I would say it doesn't get too much better than that. No. Played a difficult pace at it as well. And Three red. He's hit the target and got an absolutely perfect result as well. Ju yeah, just firm enough. It wasn't, you know, just over the draw. He played enough to stop the bend and on the tighter line. I think Dan's... Is he just going to go for... the? Go for the jack here. It Will looks a trouble is he's, he's actually game down here. If he drops a three here, then they're out. So this is a big bowl for for Daniel Salmon. Ready. Must get at least second, really. Ideally, it's not Come far on. away to get just up to this jack now. Oh, that is a great bowl. Fantastic bowl, that is. Just needs to stay sat up now. Fantastic, that is. Oh, One shot, double and salmon. Eleanor declared it, I yeah. think. What a great bowl that was. Lying game down in all kinds of trouble. And draws one four inches to a displaced jack. Six, six after eight ends. So it's a one end shootout. Say a relief there. Two great bowls to finish the end for sure. Yeah, cracking bowls. I don't think Greg could have played his any better. And, and the result was fantastic as well because he didn't really give Dan much, and Dan uh, Dan stumped up a big one there for sure. Back to the 24 metres. Jack Lenz, 24 metres. Oh, crucial to get this first ball as close as possible now in this final end. 
The bend a long way. Yeah, he did get all the way back, but just enough pace to get by. Better start from Ellen. Well plenty of room. Again, just push through that, Nick. Yeah, at this stage of the game, he would have disappointed not to get get one of them quite close in. Okay. Oh. Jack's not in, Jack's not in the easiest position in the world. Just to just to relax one in, you've got to really think about line and pace. It's on one of those little spots on the green that. One yeah, it's quite difficult to actually nail that jack into where it is. You know, a good bowl is a foot away at that position. Yeah. So I think, I think whoever gets this first will take this. Uh, will take this end himself. Yeah, well, Ellen's got one what, about fourteen inches away, so that will it's the first one to beat. Quick. I think it's clicking. So. <laughs> of the five bowls are finished just a yard over 18 inches to to beat we'll just look at closing this down it's just up as well i think i think but uh, yeah all sliding past yeah. there you go. Do this, mate. two feet off got it not far away, but even six, Greg's last bowl would be very close. This is last bowl again to stay in this championships Three. on a better line. It just needs to slow yeah. down now. Very close. Yeah, yeah, well played. S same bowl for Greg, though, he gets it. Yeah. Yep. Good bowl from Dan, though, to be fair. Under the pressure, you know, you've got to get shot. That's right. Just concentrate on just that small adjustment. Oh, will we see our first tie break? Or can Greg just snatch victory? He won't be far away. Come on, Come on, Does he beat the front one? Everything you've got, run! run. <laughs> Alan's urging it forwards. Yeah. One yeah. shot, second set. Yeah, and so Greg Harlow again Greg Harlow. with another final destroying bowl takes victory from the Welsh pair. Oh, a quick recap there. So the Welsh boys came out quite fighting quickly. And it was the earlier killer bowls from Greg Harlow and the conversion shots took the first set 8 3. Second set, slightly better, a bit of mix and match. Went all the way to a final end. But it was Ellen Faulkner, MBE, and the world number six, Greg Harlow. That secures their place into the next round. Before we have a quick look of what's next to come, during the summer, uh, with our lockdown, our sponsors just decided to virtually take to the streets on a conquest to try and find Bowl's biggest superfan. Let's have a little snippet now of how that went. smallest ball in the game is called a jack. Some people call it a cot, but uh, two or three different names. But they're the two I would use. Okay, so the smallest bowl um, in, in the game is called the jack. Jack. So that would be the little white ball, I think, which is called the jack, that's thrown first. The smallest ball in the game of bowls is a jack. Um, jack. 
nearly a trick question there. I was nearly going to tell you the size of them, but yes, the smallest pool in the game is called the Jack. So that's how the start of our search to find the Bulls' biggest superfan went. And let's look at this afternoon's play. Two o'clock, Les Gillett, Jason Greenslade against Perry Martin and Wayne Wilgress. Approximately quarter to four will be Simon Skelton and Mike Stepney. We'll take on Scott Edwards and Andy Walters. And this evening's game, Paul Foster, MBE, and Alex Marshall, MBE, take on the Scottish pair, James Rippey and Darren Weir. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. So don't forget, we'll be back with you at two o'clock. Until then, stay safe and stay home.